here we have a um, pretty simple problem. We see in our errors here, we have Minikin, and it can't load these, uh, these failed to create these fonts, you know, and this isn't a big deal. You know, it's definitely not a showstopper. We're just gonna ADB shell into our device and we look at the um, system fonts and we list them all here and there's tons in there. So this really is very low on our priority list, but I, I do wanna touch on it. It's an error in our logs. We want our logs to be error free. And if we search for these, this like, we'll try this Nanum Gothic and we can't find it. I mean, the only things that start with N are N-O. You know, so this this Nanum Gothic doesn't exist in here. See, we're looking up here and there's no Nanum Gothic. Obviously, that's why there's an error. Um, we can search for Droid Sans Fallback as well. And there's like Droid Sans Full, Droid Sans, Droid Sans Mono, but none of this Fallback ones. And, uh, <clears throat> Let's see, yep, so it does not exist. Uh, we could try this MTL one or whatever, you know, L, L, LS MTL, and we're hitting tab and we're not auto-completing. So there's, there's just, this doesn't exist. There's not even anything that starts with an M in here, you know, nothing. So these, these files don't exist. Now you have a couple options. You can go download them online, you know, or you could uh, actually just copy some other file and name it that. That would be technically wrong. But I just jumped on GitHub and went and you know did a web search for it. And there we go, able to bring them up and just download them from a repository. And so we downloaded those three that we need. Notice that they're listed twice uh, at a time. So we've, we've gone over here to our uh, machine and we're just gonna copy these in because we just wanna clean up the logs. Uh, technically, you typically don't put like fonts in here, but it's easy to do, so we'll just do it. So we just make a new folder in our device tree. We're gonna call it fonts. And we open this up and we paste in those fonts that we, uh, we were missing. And here they go. And then we're going to come to our device tree and we're just gonna, uh, our device make file rather, we're gonna just copy this input for copying these key layout files, but we're gonna change it to be fonts. And, uh, and we're just cleaning up these uh, missing fonts. And we'll just call this fonts because that was the name of the folder that we're getting it from. And we're gonna put them in the fonts folder on the device. Let's just delete this, delete this, delete this. We'll delete this, we'll delete this. So we're just gonna add the names of these, these files. And we'll just copy them here. Press F2 so I can edit the name and then just copy the, the name that's in there. There we go. And we're saying from here to there. We're just gonna do this for all three. And once we've uh, done that, then we, uh, we just update our, uh, <clears throat> push this up to our GitHub or GitLab, and uh, that should solve that problem. So if you run into an issue where, you know, some file is missing or something like that, you know, you have a choice. You can put it in the vendor files. You can put it in the uh, device tree files. Um, you know, there's probably some, uh, you know, legality issues with some things, you know, make sure that you're you know, if you're copying some files that are free to use for anything, then that's not a problem. But but uh, typically, you just can put it in there and then you can say, hey, copy that to the phone.